course it's affected us. Uh, there isn't a police officer or a paramedic or anybody who went into that house, and we went into it after the bodies were removed, but frankly, um, none of them will ever be the same again. And you know, and, and you do it because, I mean, the bottom line is um, CJ and Cedric survived 40 hours. And let's face it, I mean, you know, this miraculous story gets missed in, in, in the middle of a trial. I mean, this story by itself, forget about the trial, what those kids endured laying in that house for 40 hours, even the two-month-old, for them to live is an amazing story of, of just the resilience within a child. And every time we got tired and every time, you know, we got discouraged because we're working late hours, we thought of them. I mean, how can you complain about trial preparation when you look at what those kids endured? You can't do it, and we did it for them, and that's all we've been thinking about this whole trial. But I mean, what those kids went through, and if you look at the injuries, you know they suffered, you know they were screaming, you hate to talk about that, but it's a reality. Um, you can't, the mind can't really comprehend being stabbed with a kitchen knife. I mean, these knives weren't regular weapons, they were, you know, steak knives and paring knives. and. And those, you know, the children that died fought for their lives. The injuries tell you that. And then what CJ did enduring in, in that bathtub, he fought his uncle as hard as he could as a nine-year-old. And it's, it, it, it's, it's hard to comprehend, really, um, what Jesse did in that house. And we're not here to make excuses for why he did it. And frankly, I, there's not an explanation for that. I mean, you can study them if you want, but the why... We don't care about the why. We know he did it, and he needs to pay for it. The jury uh, will have to make a determination as to what uh, the sentence will be for Jesse Dotson with regard to the counts since they came back uh, as indicted on those murder first degree counts, those six counts. Uh, the options are uh, life with parole, life without parole, and the death penalty. Uh, we'll be putting on uh, some proof in the morning to, to begin that. We'll have openings and all of that. Uh, but that the bottom line is uh, it'll be back in the jury's purview as to what the uh, final determination of Jesse Dotson's sentence will be.